So hello friends today we are going to do a unboxing and a review of the Apetzal 12 to 24h macro lens. This lens is available in Apetzal.in for 999 rupees and it's really cool how well they are packing this product and also shipping. Uh, so this is a detachable lens which is two 12 h macro lenses and which combine together to form 24h. It has a diffuser and also a universal clip which can be attached to most of the smartphones out there and also this um, lenses minimal focal length is 1 to 2 cm which is really close so in 24 h magnification the uh, minimal focal distance is really close so it is not ideal for taking uh, micro living photography inside the boats you will get a case for the lens which protects it from the uh, drops and stuff so now let's take out the lens from the case and take a look at it okay so this lens is made of really good quality materials let's detach the 12 h macro lens and see how it looks so i'm going to detach the 12 h also so this is a two 12 h macro lens which combine together to form 24 h magnification so the lens is made of pure quality metal and the lens element is really good uh, there is no image quality drop while using it but while using in 24h there is vignetting so the 24h lens has the uh, diffuser also at the top so this is how we make it 24h uh, we need to screw both of these lenses for making it 24h uh, there is also a pet cell branding on the sides of the lens and also the magnification um, uh, so this is the universal clip that comes with the boats and it's really good quality material and now let's see how much of a distance we will get for this magnification clip so I'm using a scale for checking the distance so from the test I was able to understand that it's maximum distance is like 3.5 centimeters so if your mobile phone is having the main sensor in 3.5 centimeters from the sides or top you can use this lens adapter otherwise you need to find a new clip or new uh, macro lens now let's see what else is inside the case so the sponge is there for protecting the lens and also there is an apetzal fiber cloth uh, which can be used for cleaning the lens uh, the cloth is of really good quality and really neat also so let's put these things to the side and take a look at the lens and take some samples and compare it to the main sensor of my smartphone okay so this is my smartphone's main sensor and right now i'm going to attach the macro lens this is the 24h macro lens you can see the vignetting so this lens is not covering the entire sensor so you need to zoom it in 2h zoom then you will lose image quality by a lot so i always like to do is like uh, shoot in the 12h macro lens which does not have any vignetting issues so this 24h is having so much problems like it has vignetting it has a minimal focal length of two centimeters or one centimeter that's really close so while we try to take macro photography it the living things will always run away the 12 at the other side is really good right now i'm going to show you the 12 macro lens uh, this is the 12 macro lens you need to remove the uh, 12 on the top for making the lens to 12 as you guys can see it's having full image readout and also i'm using the pro camera app for getting the manual focus so we are going to take a photo of a plant and we are going to compare that photo to our main sensor and see how much of a difference we will get in my opinion i will i was blown away from the results like the macro lens gives you a dslr feel to your image and the main sensor looks really bad 
so this is with the macro lens this is with the 12 inch macro lens and the image looks really good and also really sharp right now we are going to see the photo from our main sensor of the mobile and right now i'm going to take it with the main sensor and this is the closest focus that i can pull as you guys can see from the pro camera app and i'm going to take a photo right now and this is the photo that i can take with the main sensor now let's see a side by side comparison and you guys decide which lens is best for you so now we are going to take another plants photo and compare it to the main sensor uh, this is with the main sensor and now let's take the exact same photo with the macro lens and there we go it's in focus now this is the macro shot from the macro lens and you guys can see the image quality and also the depth there is a huge difference in the image quality as well as the looks of the image so these are some random shots of um how you can get the focus uh, how much close you can go to the subject you guys can see these uh, lenses look really sharp as well as there is like so much of depth in the photos so definitely a good lens for macro so this is a flies photo which i took with the 24x macro lens and you guys can see the sharpness and also the uh, depth this is a comparison between the main sensor of my phone and the macro lens and these are some of the photos that i was able to take and let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this sensor as let me know in the comment section what you guys think of the uh, macro lens and also uh, i will be uploading these photos into my blog so wait for my blog to come so thank you for watching if you like this video consider subscribing as it will help me in the future videos so thank you for watching guys